Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Geminis. Gemini, this is going to be your October 2020 love and romance reading. Now, Gemini, I'm going to read your energy on the left and the person that you're romantically attached to or energetically linked to on the right. At any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I'm picking up on. Also, I urge you to play with time. This could be somebody that you already know that you've had a past relationship with it, or you're currently in a relationship with this person or somebody or an energy moving towards you in October. All right, so we've had a lot of intense readings, you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Now, if something doesn't resonate, if this reading doesn't resonate with you, I urge you to check your Venus sign, which rules love and romance, but also check your other signs as well to get a more complete picture. Also, if you want to support this channel or you want a private reading, just check out the description box down below, along with the decks that I'm using. They're linked and listed in order, okay? So let's go ahead and call in spirit angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, and ascended masters to this space to deliver the messages that we need to hear for my Gemini's October 2020. Messages for Gemini October 2020. All right, look at that. Moon and Libra, some sort of clarity coming towards you, Gemini. The way you see your person, Nine of Cups in reverse. The way you see the relationship, judgment. Wow, nice. Your person is the three of pentacles in reverse. The way they see you, queen of pentacles in reverse. And the way they see the relationship, the six of pentacles. Wow, I feel like people, this is interesting energy. Like you guys are seeing things for what they really are, like the good and the bad, but you're still really committed. This is beautiful strengths the ace of wands and the weaknesses the three of swords in reverse wow overall energy you have the fool beautiful this is aries or aquarius energy the fool is about starting something brand new so if you are in a relationship with this person this is a new cycle for you guys um if you are single this is somebody brand new coming towards you beautiful. Gemini, you guys are coming out as this energy of the two of swords in reverse. So some of you guys might've taken a time out from this person or from dating or just, you know, from love in general to focus on other things. And, you know, you're the two of swords in reverse takes us to that ace of swords, a brand new direction. You've got some clarity. You're ready to move forward. Um, maybe it's with a particular person where you took a break from them, or, you know, you're ready to get back out there. Um, the person that you that's coming towards you or the person, the way you see your person is this Nine of Cups in Reverse. So the Nine of Cups in Reverse is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. It's about evolution, um, but it's also about, um, you know, when Nine of Cups is in Reverse, it's like not, it, I feel like this person, you had an idealized version of what you wanted, almost a fantasy version, and you get somebody that you need. And so you're recognizing, well, they're not like everything I wanted, but they're exactly what I need. And, you know, that's beautiful because that's really coming down to earth. There's this reality to it. The nine of cups in reverse is, um, you know, you might see this person as a little bit excessive at times in their show of love for you. Um, they might be like overly romantic or they might like, you know, or they might like spend a lot of money on you, or maybe they do that on their own. So you see some sort of excess, like maybe, you know, that you even see them kind of drinking a little bit too much, but ultimately you're okay with it. You know, like it's not exactly what you wanted, but it's what you needed. And I love that energy. And I think you're really clear on that. You know, I think you're happy. Um, the nine of cups in reverse takes us to the eight of cups though. And it's about walking away. So some of you guys may have been in a relationship with this person and taken a break, which I was picking up on and you guys are starting over again. Or some of you guys know or have met this person, but you know that they need to walk away from someone or something. Okay, so again, it could be that maybe they, you know, they drink a little bit too much. All right, and you know that that's something that, you know, they kind of have to deal with. Um, some of you may have met this person and they were in another, um, in another commitment. And so you're waiting for them to get out of this or, you know, you, you sort of put on the brakes. Like we're not doing anything until, you know, you're completely single. The way you see this relationship, though, is the judgment card. Beautiful. Ascension, taking things to the next level. I love it. It's enlightening. It's beautiful. 
Um, you know, and I, and I think also, you know, when we're going back to this nine of cups in reverse, I feel like you're non judge, you're non judgmental towards them. You know, again, you're recognizing they don't tick 100% of the boxes that you had, you know, written out for your ideal partner, but they're exactly what you need. And so you're sort of like letting go of that judgment, releasing that control of like that nitpicking of, you know, this person has to be, you know, six foot four and they have to be blonde and they have to be, but you know what I mean? Like it's, it's like being, it's like being open to what you actually need, you know, and, and also to like human, you know, to the fact that nobody's perfect, right? Including ourselves, as hard as that may be to believe sometimes, right? All right. So the way um, your person is the three of pentacles, you may have met this person at work or in school. Um, but the three of pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, um, this person might be balancing. Again, some of you guys, this person might be in another commitment or somebody, or they might be just in that time in their life where they really, you know, they need to focus on their coin or on their health. Again, some of them might be cleaning up sort of codependency issues um, or addictions or things like that. But you can see that they're really, they're working really, really hard right now. All right. And they're balancing, you know, it's not sustainable. Um, again, this person might be in another commitment or they might work at a distance. So there's certain things that need to sort of fall in place or come together before you guys can, you know, take things to the next level. But I think you're really sort of non-judgmental about it and you're clear about what you want and what needs to happen. And I feel like the sense of contentment here, Gemini, the way you see this person, queen of pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, again, um, you might feel the need to take care of this person, Gemini. Um, you might feel like, you know, that you need to either help like clean up their lives somehow. Um, and this comes with a little bit of a warning, but I think it's also this nurturing and this loving, like you realize this person's not perfect, but you really want to come in and, you know, and give them that support to either have better healthy eating habits. Maybe that you guys exercise together, maybe bringing about more meditation. Maybe you guys are doing Reiki or acupuncture together. Um, but you also, you, you feel like you want to nurture this person, um, that this person is very giving and loving. And again, they're in this state of balance. So they they might put other people's needs before their own and you feel like you know you want you want to do that for them and I and I love this this is caring this is nurturing energy the queen of pentacles is also you seeing this person as that you know husband or wife material but you understand that certain things have to fall in place first okay but I really do pick up on your optimism here and the way that they see the relationship is the six of pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn so lots of earth energy here um, and the six of pentacles is beautiful. It's an equal exchange. It's balance. It's like they see how you Gemini bring them peace. They see how they, it's like they want to be better for you, or they see how you behave and what you do. And that makes them want to be a better person. And it just is this equal exchange of love, um, and again, Gemini, you might be in a better financial situation than this person. Um, this person might be juggling, you know, lots of different jobs or they're not really sure exactly what they want to do in their career, but it's like, you really do want to come in and help them because you can, okay. Not because you want to, it's like not an overgiving situation and it's not a, here comes my Gemini knight in shining armor, but more of just because you guys really compliment each other. And at the end of the day, you love each other. The strengths of this relationship are the Ace of Wands, or is the Ace of Wands. This is a brand new beginning, lots of passion, lots of love. The weakness is Three of Swords. But what I like about this is in reverse, it takes us to the Two of Swords. Someone here is still of two minds. Someone here is still sort of juggling. I think, Gemini, you're very clear. I think your person is kind of like really struggling with, what should I do here? And they may look to you for guidance. Um, or, you know, they might just be like, you know, I don't want to disappoint Gemini. You know, I'm not maybe where I want to be in my life or in my career, or maybe, you know, I need to get out of this, this contract or the situation that I'm in, you know, before I can start anything with Gemini. And I think they're just worried, you know, they're, they might be a little bit worried about, you know, maybe about losing you. Okay. Maybe about losing you. Again, some of them might be dealing with some sort of codependency. Um, I'm not picking up on it being like, you know, like a really like a major drug addiction, but something that kind of just takes away something that they do, you know, something that they just do too much. I don't feel like it's like life threatening. I don't feel like it's like a deal breaker. Um, but it's something that could definitely be improved. 
All right, Gemini, you guys are coming out as the fish. Beautiful. So 38 breaks down to an 11. 11 is the sign of balance. All right. And the two of swords is moon and Libra. Okay. So again, there might be Libra in your chart or this person might have a lot of Libra in their chart, but the fish is um, abundance. Yeah. It's typically it's abundance. It's, you know, you, I think Gemini, I think you're in a great spot. Um, I think that you, you know, this fish, you can see he's kind of bigger than all the others. He's a leader. I think Gemini, I think you, you know, either at work or maybe even your family. Um, but I think you're just really stepping up. And I think, you know, I love this fish cause he's not afraid. Um, he's not afraid to see things for how they really are. And I think that's what you're doing. And I think you're, you're surprisingly okay with it. You know, you're just like, yeah, because this is my person, you know, I take the good with the bad we can all improve. And I, and I think you all, you are also in the process, Gemini, of really manifesting beautiful things for your life, you know, apart from this love. But I think you're also like kicking goals when it comes to your career or, you know, you're having a major glow up or something like that. Now your person, look at that, you get the ring and you get judgment. So there may be an engagement in your future. Um, again, you might see this person as down the line being somebody that you would like to marry. Um, yeah, you want to commit to this person, you know, but you know that they there's something that needs to be left behind and I feel like it's something in their life, Gemini, um, either a person or a job or, you know, behavior again. All right. And we get judgment 35 breaking down to an eight. So the comb is interesting because it is about putting your best face forward. It can be about keeping up appearances, but I'm getting more than anything with this comb is you see things really moving in a higher direction for you and for the, for you and this person and within this relationship. And I think, you know, there may have been some, some things that a less evolved you would have turned your back on this person for, Okay. Or before, you know, where you, you're in such a good, healthy place and you're understanding, you know, like that not everybody's perfect and there's like no deal breakers here, but you're not settling either. I mean, this is your person, but I think before, whereas like you would have been really rigid and nitpicky and you would have turned your back on somebody who didn't check 100% of those boxes, you're seeing the reality of it and you're really, you're putting your best face forward. You know, and I think you, you, I think your energies together, you're going to witness this like double glow up, you know, with the comb, like some, I really do feel like this person is cleaning up their act because they are coming to meet you at your level. Okay. Whether that's spiritually, whether that's financially, whether that's, you know, maybe they just, you know, they have a little bit of a, you know, smoke weed and play video games vibe about them. And, you know, and they're like, you know what? I actually want to make Gemini proud, you know, um, not that there's anything wrong with smoking weed and playing video games. Right. But you know what I mean? It's like Gemini, you're like, you're kicking goals. You're moving forward. And this person wants to meet you there. Okay. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful energy. Now your person, three of pentacles, something needs to come together for them. Yeah. They're just a little bit confused. Something needs to end again. It could be a third party situation. It could be, um, you know, they maybe are in the process of like figuring out what they're supposed to be doing, you know, for work or what their higher calling is. So there's a bit of confusion on their part. Okay. But I don't think you're confused, Gemini. And I think you do provide them with a lot of guidance and a lot of inspiration. Yep, we get the triangle card coming out. So there's definitely some sort of third party situation. Um, it could be that, you know, they're, they're, this third party could be friends or family that aren't so keen on this relationship for whatever reason. Um, just ignore it. Um, 22 is the master builder number. It's the strongest number in the deck. Um, sorry, strongest number of the master builder numbers. It's about compassion. It's about love. It's about perseverance, um, you know, and through hard work, you know, and it doesn't have to be hard either, but you know, this person I feel like is going to be turning their life around Gemini. And it's not, I don't want you to get into this thinking of it's for you exclusively, but it's like, you are that inspiration because you are seeding your light. You are working your light. And when we work our light, when we do what makes us happy, when we are kicking goals, when we are, you know, doing what we love, that inherently heals or helps others that we're energetically connected to. And that's the message here. Okay. So it's like, you know, it's not like your job here is to fix this person or to, you know, buy them fancy clothes or to make them better. No, it's like they're going to, they, they love you. There's love here and they want to meet you where you are.
Okay, but there is this triangle, you know, there's this a lot of threes coming out here. So again, there may be a third party situation involved. It doesn't have to be, you know, that somebody's cheating on somebody else. Okay, the six of pentacles, we get the hat, 42, a six on top of a six. Six is a Venusian number. It's about love. It's about compassion. Um, and the hat is about really stepping things up. I mean, the hat is nobility. You know, I feel like Gemini that you, I feel like, and now feel free to swap the energies, but I'm really picking up Gemini. You've got your SHIT together. You're awesome. You're kicking goals. You're looking good. You know, people are looking up to you. You're seeding your light. You're working your light. And this person is going to meet you there. This person is, you know, energetically getting an upgrade just by being around you and your presence. You know, how's that for an ego boost, Gemini? But it's true and it's beautiful. And, you know, again, this person, I think when you first meet them or met them, you know, wasn't quite everything that you had on your list. But you're in a place where you're like less judgmental and, and you're realizing they're exactly what you need because there's true love here. All right, so you get books, you get 28, another 10. So you're completing one cycle, moving into a brand new passionate one, one that is just, this is, this is everything coming together, but something here does need to end first, okay? I love this, we get a lot of new beginnings. Books, studying, learning, growth, okay? Beautiful. Again, this person might be working on their education as well. And weaknesses, yeah. All right, so the Three of Swords, somebody was really kind of pulling back. This might have been a very, very hot and heavy relationship that started out really fast. And you guys might have sort of pulled back because you were like, whoa. Comets are about wish fulfillment, okay? This is like shooting for the stars. Some of you may not have even believed that this person had any flaws. And then he took a closer look and he started to see, mm, things are a little messy over here, a little messy over there. And you may have pulled back a little bit. Okay. And you know, and there may have been a little break or there may be, or maybe you just go within to really search for the answers, but you realize that this is your person. Comment is wish fulfillment. It's happiness, but it also is burning really hot and really fast. Okay. So again, you know, I think that like, I think that when things started to get a little bit more serious, there may have been like this realization that this person is either in another connection um, or this person sort of needs to clean up some of their habits or there's certain things that need to fall in place before we take this to the next level. But I really do feel that love and that patience. And you get the wine glass. This is intimacy. This is celebration. This is romance. This is beautiful energy, Gemini. Beautiful energy. These October love readings have been so intense. And consider yourselves lucky because it's like Gemini and Aries have had beautiful readings. And everybody else, oh my goodness, has been really learning karmic lessons, lots of upheaval. But, you know, that would make a lot of sense with Mars going retrograde in its home sign of Aries. Um, but Gemini, this is, this is beautiful. This is real. This feels really good. It feels healthy. It feels adult. It feels evolved. You know, it's beautiful. So we get sadness. Okay. We get say what you mean. Yeah. All right. So again, some of you, um, you know, some of you guys, I, I do feel like there was something here or within this connection that made you feel this way. You know, again, maybe finding out, you know, I really get there may be like, again, it might burn really hot and heavy at first. There's a lot of passionate passion between you guys. But again, with your person, there's a lot of threes coming out and there's something that needs to be cleaned up and completed before you guys can come together. Okay. And so like, it's really important that, that this information is, you know, is sussed out and on the table. But you get patience. I love that because, you know, I was picking up on this that you, I feel like, Gemini, you're patient. You know what needs to come together. You're not trying to rush it because you're just, you've taken this such a mature approach to this situation. You know, letting your person, because you know it's your person, work out what they need to and offering them support, putting your best face forward. You know, not rushing into anything. Remember, Mars energy is about making like snap decisions. Um, you know, just sort of like, doing your research, taking your time. Okay. Let me sit with this. Let me roll this around. You know, 
in my thoughts and my, you know, let me see how this feels. And then, you know, I just, I love this energy. And then we get self-love. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely. Really focusing on, you know, what makes you feel good. Um, and that's part of the reason you guys are, be, are attracted to each other. Okay, nice. This is, I'm very, I'm just really happy. I'm really, very happy for you, Gemini. Okay. Well, for us, right? My Venus is in Gemini, so... All right, let's go ahead and see what else comes through. All right, we get keep an open mind. Yeah, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You know, I've been saying that all, all reading, right? They're not everything you wrote down, but they're what you need. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Again, yeah, I feel like, like there might have been, or there, there might be a very hot and heavy coming together, and there's going to be this sort of pullback. Okay, because you're going to realize this person is different. You're going to realize that you guys, you know, differ on certain things or this person needs to clean something up or let go of control issues. Yeah, allow the situation to unfold naturally. I feel like that's what you're doing, Gemini. I think you are. I think you're putting your best face forward. I think you're taking things slow. I think you're not trying to orchestrate everything. But your energy is so strong that this person is like you know, really benefiting. They're going to come meet you, okay, in your energy. In chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. With that Ace of Wands, there is a lot of passion between you guys. All right. Ooh, I'm going to take these. That's three. Look at that. As I'm talking about passion, the passion card comes out. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Lots of passion here. <laughs> Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Yeah, Gemini, that's your energy. You're accepting. You know, you're accepting that you guys are different. You're keeping an open mind. You're being patient. I mean, you guys are just awesome. All right. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Yeah. And I think that some of you may go through this little separation or, or the, or there might be this emotional distance in this connection, which is really meant to, you know, really meant to bring things into focus. Um, because I, you're, I just feel like Gemini, your energy is so evolved. Like you guys are just, you guys are so, you guys embody peace and light right now. And again, you're kicking goals. Um, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Yeah. So trusting your heart, Gemini, beautiful reading. Thank you for your amazing energy. Thank you for all the work that you guys are doing. Um, I love you. Don't forget to drop me a like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care.